Hello my friends all over the world, wherever you are. William Poloniak here again from Whole Health Foundation. And today I'm going to make a special juice. What I have here is 24 ounces of apples, Granny Smith apples, 158 grams of blueberries, and 180 grams of grapes. Now normally blueberries don't make good juice unless you mix it with other produce so that's what I'm going to do today and we'll start with some apples and I'm going to collect it in single serving containers okay I'm going to plug in the thermometer and add three ice cubes to cool down the cutter and the feed tube and we'll start with some apples tip is to only go down halfway because you don't want to blow back. Now after I put in a couple of apples, I'm going to add the blueberries. Again, only go down part way. And a couple more apples. Switch containers, put in a few more apple slices. All right, before I put the last of the apples, I'm going to put the grapes. Check your wing nuts frequently. Blueberries, and then we'll put the last of the apples in here. Stem seeds and all. Now, at the end, because there's a little bit of produce in here, it's a good idea to pour some pulp in here and force that last produce through. So, that's what I'm going to do here. Next I'm going to clean the feed tube, reassemble, and then make juice. And I'm going to get most of this pulp out of the feed tube before I clean it. And then I'm going to clean and reassemble. And notice I've got a bamboo liner here. With fruit and greens only, you always use a bamboo liner. That minimizes and virtually eliminates pulp sticking to the cloth. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this. Right, I've cleaned the feed tube. I'm going to reassemble, putting the cutter on top with the hole facing down so that you have drainage. And take the grid slide in the grid and put that back in. And next we're going to take some pulp and pour it on the bamboo liner. Fold the liner over the pulp in both directions. And then we're going to set this aside and press two claws at once. And notice my folding technique with fruit. I'm going to fold this under so that it minimizes slippage. Next we'll get another bamboo liner. Put some more pulp on here. Use a spatula to get all that precious pulp out. We don't want to waste anything. Pulp. Fold it over as before in both directions. And once again, watch my folding technique. We're going to fold this under like so in both directions this time to minimize any slippage. And then we'll get a collection container. Put this in the tray, centered, left to right, front to back. That's very, very important. All the way back and back it off. Back a little bit more. Notice how the blueberry is coloring the apple juice. Now, be 
because I have a little bit of pulp left, what I'm going to do is open this up, pour the rest of the pulp in here and repackage it. And as before, I'm going to use a spatula to get all that precious pulp out. We don't want to waste anything. Fold it as before in both directions. And tuck it under. Notice how I'm doing that. And we'll tuck it under again in this direction. We want to minimize any slippage. And this will go on top of the old pulp. All the way back. Back it off a little bit. And as carefully as I can, I'm going to pour this juice in. Now, because I'm making juice on a Whole Health Foundation Premium Juicer with the premium bottom plate, what I'm going to do with this pulp is I'm going to repackage it into a ball. And even though we've got a small portion of juice, I want to see how much more juice we can get out of that spent pulp. And notice again, I'm folding it under, and we'll do that in both directions. So I've got a tight little package there. Notice that, flatten it, and we'll do the same thing on this one. So we'll put this right in the center, left to right, front to back, but we're going to use a measuring beaker. Remember, anytime you touch a sponge or the countertop, you want to wash your hands all the way back. And as soon as we get juice full, I'm going to back that off and see how much more juice we get using the Whole Health Foundation Premium Juicer with the solid bottom plate. Oh, that's a significant amount more. I'm going to leave that up at least half a minute. Can leave it up any longer you get the idea so we have a total of three and a third ounces I'm going to pour that into here and then bottle it looks like we're going to get one and a half bottles of juice oh I'm going to get two got enough there for a taste test. enough for a taste test so let's taste this apple Blueberry and grape juice. Remember to swish it around with your saliva. Mm, that's much too sweet for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it 50% with water. This is distilled water. I have a distilled water system, but purified water is okay. Even bottled water is good. So what we'll do now is mix that, and we'll do a taste test 50% with water. Here we have 50% water. For me, this is much more palatable. Not nearly as sweet. Full pressed juice is very, very sweet. Mix 50% with water, it's very, very tasty. I hope you like what you've seen, my friends. If you'd like to call me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developtrust at cox.net. And my webpage is wholehealthfound.com. See you in the next video.